Hi there. Today we're going to go through how to embed Power BI reports in SharePoint. And this works pretty well for KPIs in particular because you can embed these on, say, your intranet homepage or on your team site um, and give people a idea of how you are doing as a team or as an organization. And you have full, um, full normal act interactivity with, um, with the web parts in the SharePoint embed. So you can drill up, drill down, drill through, um, cross filter if you have multiple visuals. You get the tool tips. It's actually really cool. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to use a visual that we made last week. This is this goal to actual, and I'll show you how to set it up for embedding. So I'm going to put a link to the video that we um, where we made this particular visual if you um, if you haven't seen that one in the video description, but um, basically, all you do for an embed is I'm going to put this on a fresh report page and keep in mind when you're embedding things that they'll often get dynamically resized to be quite a bit smaller than um, than you had intended. So what I like to do is to set the page size to this about the same size that I think it's going to be when it is embedded. So in this case, it was about maybe this size. And you can see that when I resize these, that some things start overlapping and looking a little weird. So we're going to, um, we're going to fix this up a little bit before we embed it. So these bars in particular, I don't like how thick they've gotten. So we're going to go into the visual settings and go to markers and tone that down a little bit. And if I'm embedding, sometimes when the font size gets a little small, um, you might want to increase your, your legend font size a little bit. So let's do that. Maybe the, do the x-axis up to 10. And if you're embedding on a home page, I don't like to have people's names in a goal to actual and in a SharePoint homepage because it kind of feels like a competition or like you're shaming people who aren't meeting their goals. So I'm going to change this to use the territory instead of the people's names. So I have my sales territory dimension table here and I'm just going to drop that on top of salesperson. Um, you could take salesperson out if you wanted to. See how it's it's expanded? If you go back up, it'll... And then maybe we should take out the titles on the axis because it'll make it a little bit more compact. So I'm just going to come here to the X and Y and turn the title off. Okay, and now we need to resize our canvas. So I'm just going to click off of that visual to get the canvas size tab here and go to canvas settings and change this to custom. And then this looks like a about, I would say 400 by 600 would be a good size. You kind of have to guess on this and adjust it. Looks pretty good, maybe like. All right, so now we need to publish this and I'm gonna fast forward to this while it, while it goes and be back up with you in a second. Okay, so I am, um, I'm on the report page that I just published and what I need to do is grab the URL up here for that particular tab and then go over to my SharePoint page and click edit and then hover over where I want this. So there's all kinds of videos out there on how to do SharePoint page layouts, um, the sections and web parts and whatnot can be a little bit confusing. So if you're not sure how to get something to fit in the right size space, um, just check YouTube for that. And I'm going to search for in this, if you missed that, I hovered over this little web part insert menu here. These will pop up anywhere you can add web parts. So you see they're just kind of appearing. So I'm going to search for the word Power BI in here and there's an actual Power BI web part and use that. And then click on add report and we're going to paste in the link to the report we just made. And it should automatically set the page name if you've pasted in a link that has that um, ID in it. So I'm going to leave display as it is, and I'm going to turn off this show navigation pane and the show action bar so that it's more of a clean embed. And then we're going to republish when we're done. 
keep in mind that uh, in order to see this report, your users, your visitors on this page need to have the report um, shared with them. They need access to the report. In order to see anything here, it still follows Power BI's permissions and they also need a Power BI license. So keep that in mind and we are done. Thanks for watching.